Hey guys, today I'm excited to give you my spoiler free review for The Wheel of Time. And now if you saw my reaction to the teaser trailer, you know I was pretty excited and all in on this show. It kind of reminded me of Shadow and Bone, which I really, really, really enjoyed earlier this year. So as someone who has not read the books, here are my thoughts, spoiler free, on the wheel of time let's talk about it however if this is your first time here i'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one okay let's talk about it hey tessa from mama's geeky here thank you so much for stopping by my youtube channel all right so the first three episodes are about to drop of the wheel of time on Prime video november 19th so they're they're almost here guys now i've got to say that this review is based on the first six episodes, sort of. I'm really trying to focus on those first three. However, I have seen the first six episodes. I know a lot of you asked me to react to the main trailer. That's something I did not do because I had already watched these six episodes at that time. And I try really hard and pride myself on genuine reactions. And I figured a lot of the stuff I've seen in these first six episodes were going to be thrown into that trailer. So I opted not to react to it. Now, I have to start this by saying I wanted to love this series. I didn't love it. Okay, that's not to say I didn't enjoy it. Listen, I did enjoy it. You guys will figure that out when I give you my rating at the end of this video. But I just feel like I need more. And I think a lot of this comes from the fact that I have not read the books. I, I can't say comparisons. I don't know how similar it is to the books. I don't know the things they changed because I have not read the books. But I will say coming out of this, it makes me really want to spend the time and dive into the stories and dive into all of this lore because I feel like there is a lot missing. Now, the thing is, this is a massive world, of course. I mean, there's pages and 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 pages of these books. So when they try to take a massive world like that and throw it into a show, it's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of character development and world building that they have to give you and character building as well, right? Like they have to introduce these characters to you and you have to understand them and you have to really get them in order to care about them. Now, there are some characters that I absolutely fell in love with and I was like, I'm so excited to learn more about this character, okay? But then there's some characters that you're just like, for me, I felt like I didn't get to know. And, and I think that's where the problem is. And I don't know if it's got to do with the writing and the dialogue, uh, and the pacing, right? Because sometimes it gets a little bit slow and you're trying to, it's just a lot. It's a lot coming at you at once. And for me, I love to immerse myself in fantasy worlds like this. And I just felt like I didn't get enough of the lore and enough of the information, enough of the pieces that I wanted in order to truly care about some characters. Now, I think that... Um, Reading the books would help this absolutely. So for those who have read the books, they're probably going to absolutely... I mean, you already know the characters, right? You already know what you need to know about them. So it's easy for you to fill in the gaps. Whereas here, there were just a lot of gaps in a lot of a lot of characters. Unfortunately, kind of flew under the radar. And I was kind of like, wait, who's this person again? What's going on here? Okay, all right. And I'm trying to put together, who is this person exactly, right? What are their character traits? And sometimes that was hard to uh, pick up on. So for those of you who don't know anything about The Wheel of Time, the premise is actually extremely interesting and captivating and intriguing. And that is what has me holding on to this series so hard. It is a series I'm not going to give up on because I'm so interested and intrigued by the story. I mean, many years ago, powerful men, like, destroyed the world. Uh, what did they say? Seas boiled, mountains crumbled, cities burned, which I love that line, by the way. That's so, it, like gives me a picture of what had happened and the man who kind of brought it all down has now been reincarnated and they don't know where he is okay they don't know it could be a man a woman like they don't know where where this this person lives and they called this person the dragon by the way so there's a dragon reincarnate somewhere and they're trying to figure out who it is and stop them before they get to the darkness before the darkness takes them so I, that's what i find very interesting and it's like there's a whole collection of people it could be, and is it, is it not? And there's twists and turns and shocks and surprises. And um, there's a lot of action in here, too. And I love action sequences, especially in fantasy stuff, because you, like, listen, right in the first episode, we're getting these fantastical, mythical, gorgeous-looking creatures. I say gorgeous, but they're, like, 
troll like I don't want to give I don't want to give like me, like spoilers because I want people to be surprised by these characters when they first see them these creatures when they first see them they're not like beautiful like that but I just think very well done on screen and and you're into it and, and it's brutal and it's bloody and uh, and you know and you're like what is happening I mean in the six episodes you guys there's deaths like I'm not gonna say who or what but like this thing gets real right like. It's not just like, la, 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 we're going to fight, but, like, I just have a scratch and I'm fine. No, like, people die, which is crazy to me. Like, they, there's stakes in this, which is why, again, I feel like uh, I just want more. It's something, like I said, I truly did enjoy this, uh, these six episodes, and I feel like it's getting there, okay? Within the first three, which I'm trying to focus on because the first three drop together on the 19th, and then um, we'll continue on after that, but... Uh, even in the first three, I felt like I ha it was a struggle, like to know who was who and what was going on. Not, not really what was going on. Just I wanted more of the lore. I guess is the explanation that I'm trying to give. I felt like I needed more backstory. I needed more um, description of what was happening. There's only so much you can do in an hour and in three hours, right? So the other uh, three episodes, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there, and I feel like. I feel like Prime Video has a chance to have a massive hit on their hands if they continue this in this way and continue to fill in the gaps for me uh if by the end of the first season I feel like I feel like this is something I could be completely addicted to I I I, I hesitate to read any wikis because I just don't want me I don't want spoilers like I want to enjoy this for what it is but then at the same time I'm like do I just go and do I just read the books and then revisit season one and then hopefully if there's a season two fingers crossed like I'll know more stuff by then now I did post about this on Twitter and someone um, did tell me that there are supposed to be animated shorts that kind of explain the lore that go along with each episode I have not seen those and I think that would massively help so maybe I'm, I'm gonna definitely go try to find them when they when the show drops hopefully they drop with them and then I will just uh, hopefully that will help and then maybe I will rewatch the episodes and get more into this it's, and it's not that I don't like it and it's not that I don't enjoy it because I do and there's there's certain characters that I just feel like I want more development from and I want more backstory from I want more I want to know them more like I don't want them to be shoved in the background and I feel like they're shoved in the background and perhaps that's how they are in the books I don't know so I'm so interested to know what people who have read the books think of this stuff um, down below in the comments, you guys, especially after you've watched the first three episodes, let me know what gaps am I missing here? Where can I find information to fill in these particular, uh, gaps that I feel like are left? And I'm sure, uh, those who have read the books as they watch it will probably know exactly where those gaps are because they'll be filling them in with their lore knowledge from the books that they have read. I, but like, listen, overall, the cast is great. Those things with no eyes and the mouths, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. I maybe after watching it again and again, I will. Uh, it's like I, I'm not gonna try. But they're crazy. They're creepy. They're scary. They terrify me. Every time they're on screen, I freak out, and I love that. I love that about them. And so that's what I love about this fantasy world: is these these creatures and this story that it's not real. But it's so intriguing, and I'm like, I feel like that could be real. Like, I feel like someone could destroy the world, and they'd be like, all right, listen, we gotta, like, take after, you know, we gotta figure out who this reincarnate is so they don't do it again. Like, if that happened in real life, I feel like this is what would develop. I don't know. <laughs> but, listen, I give the first six episodes, I'm trying to focus on the first three, but I have seen the first six, so it's hard to kind of ignore them. Uh, I give it a three out of five. So, I, I still on the positive side and I feel like it could get there. I feel like it can really, really get there with the final few episodes of the season and I hope that it does. And then I'm hoping for a season two. And like I said, I think I definitely have to dive into the books when I have time, but that's the problem. Time, like I'm so busy and I just, it's hard to find the time and I know there's a lot here. So anybody who has read the books that can help me out, please do in the comments. I really would appreciate it. But seriously, my overall is that this is really, really good. It has the potential to be fantastic. It's it's getting there. It's just, there's a lot of gaps. And it's so funny because sometimes I'll feel like the pacing is really slow. Then sometimes I'll feel like it's too fast. And sometimes I'll feel like there's not enough going on. And sometimes I feel like it's too convoluted. So I just think they need to find their their footing here. And I, and I feel like it's starting to get there. Towards episodes five and six, it's really starting to get more okay, okay. 
I like the pacing of the episodes. It's a lot better. So I think they're, they're settling into it, right? Like I said, there's a lot of lore they're taking here. There's a lot of characters. There's a massive world, and they're just trying to bring it to the screen, and that's hard. They're not failing at it. They didn't do the best at first. It's getting better, and I think they're going to end up succeeding, and I cannot wait to continue on this journey of the Wheel of Time. So that's my review, guys. I'm excited to check out the rest of the season, and I'm excited for all of you who've read the books to help me out here, especially after you've seen the first three episodes. I know there's some stuff I'm missing, and perhaps it's stuff that they're saving for big reveals later. Maybe that's part of it. I can't really say, but all I can say is that, listen, guys, if you haven't read the books and you're not sure if you want to check this out, if you love fantasy stuff, right? Lord of the Rings, if you like Shadow and Bone, uh, I, I say check it out, okay? Go in with an open mind because I truly think by the end of the season, you're really, truly going to enjoy it all. Uh, it's getting there. It's, it, stick with it. Um, I mean, the first episode is great. They're building this stuff. It just ha feels like it hasn't settled into something its own yet. Uh, and, and it's getting there in episodes five and six. So I'm excited to see where it goes from here. I tried to keep that as spoiler free as possible uh, because I really do want people to go out there and watch this and enjoy it for themselves. So uh, yeah, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. When the season's over, I'll probably do a collective season one review as well. Uh, you guys can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there, M-A-M-A-S. G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.